Hello everyone, my name is Arthur Morris. I'm your instructor for this course. Uh, please note that this video is being recorded for the spring of 2015 courses. However, if you see this video in the future, uh, the content is the same, the dates just may be different. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, our Blackboard shell. First of all, once you log into Blackboard, you will see this page here, minus some of the links over to the side, to the left side. Uh, you'll log in and see this start here page, uh, which introduces you to the course, has a link for your syllabus, our communication policy, of course, this course orientation video, meet the instructor, uh, has some of my information here, and technical support information. So anything that you need to know about the general generalities of the course will be in this area here. Uh, you see over to the left, you have announcements tab that you can click and see any announcements for the course. Course content, uh, this is where you can go to find your course folders for the various chapters within the course. My Labs Plus link. Now, this link will take you to our homework and test taking website. Uh, on that site, you will complete all of your homework assignments and take all of your tests there. Now, I do recommend that you right click on that link and open in a new tab when you uh, get ready to go to the homework website. That way, you can still have your Blackboard tab up as well. Integrity class or course messages. Now, anytime that you would like to send me a message about the course or about something that you need to explain to me, uh, use the course messages versus email. Uh, just click here, click create message, and it'll uh, give you options of who, whoever you want to send the messages to, and you want to send it to the instructor, myself. And you can send me that message, and I'll reply back to you in this area here. Now, Terity classes, this is this link you will use when you take your test. Uh, you, you will have the option of either uh, completing your tests at home or anywhere where you have internet access and a webcam cam, or you can complete it in our testing centers either on the Huntsville campus or the Decatur campus. So all of that information is in the syllabus. And we have various links that, there, that you can look through. Uh, so let's go here and look at our course content. When you click on that button, you will see uh, your different uh, modules, we'll call them. The first thing that you will have to complete is your syllabus quiz, and you'll have your due dates here as well as on, on the homework website. Now, if you click this link here, it'll take you directly to the homework slash test website. Again, I would recommend that you right click and select in a new tab, open in a new, in a new tab. Now, also here, if you are using the Google Chrome browser, now you can use Microsoft. Internet Explorer or you can use Firefox they all usually work fairly well but if you're using the Google Chrome browser there's an extra step that you have to take when you're going to the homework website from here so please be sure to click there to review that video if you are using the Google Chrome browser to access your homework site now you have folders here and again they uh, we have the due dates all the way down to the final exam if you click on the folders, uh, you will have information about what's being covered in that particular chapter. You have links to videos for each of the lessons, uh, and you have your learning activities at the bottom of the page, which basically tells you what you will be completing in that particular chapter. So again, you have another link to the homework slash test website from here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go there. So we want to right click and open in a new tab here. So when you first log in, it may take a, um, a little bit longer for it to go from Blackboard to the homework website, but it'll get there. Now, for the homework, you will have temporary access, temporary free access to the homework website for 21 days. Um, if you already have your code, then your access code, then you can go ahead and put in your access code uh, immediately. If you don't have your access code, you want to click here on temporary access. 
and then it'll give you a temporary code and you want to left click you want to copy or highlight and copy that and then once you click back on course home uh, the information will come up to, for you for you to uh, put in your code uh, now there will be a link under the blank code box that will say um, click here for a single box you want to click there underneath the code box for a single box and then you can right click and paste that entire code into the single box all right so once you've done that you have your course home information here uh, homework tab quiz and test tab and grade book your homework you can access all of your homework links assignments from this one button here and you may have to go through and disable your pop-ups I'm going to do that now I'll allow pop-ups and click continue uh, make sure you have flash player now for your homework you can access all of your homework assignments here 2.1 2.4 2.5 and so on and then you have your quizzes and tests tab again uh, for the syllabus quiz go ahead and use that uh, integrity testing tool and then we'll go back to that in just a minute um, and that'll be a good practice for your syllabus quiz if you are testing uh, at home if you'll be completing your tests on your own computer uh, so go ahead and use that integrity testing tool just for practice and that way you'll be able to use it when it comes time to take the real test now in this area you see you have a syllabus quiz of course you need to complete that and then you have a sample test one and you have a test one now the sample test you can complete as many times as you would like to help you to prepare for the actual test the actual test is says test one attempt times 90 minutes now this will be your graded test for chapter two or your test one so this is the test that you will either complete in the testing center and if you complete it in the testing center you need to make sure that you have a photo ID when you go to the testing center and you also need to make sure that you turn in your scratch work that way I'll know that you actually completed it in there if you complete it at home and then you'll use the integrity recording device and you will show your photo ID uh, on the webcam before you actually begin your test all right so that's where all of your tests and sample tests are and your final exam as well and then the grade book this is where all of your grades will be so you don't have anything in here now but if you click on grade book and you click on show overall score then it will show your overall score now be careful we have some tabs here that says past two weeks past month that will just show your grades for the past two weeks over the past month if you wanted to see all of your grades make sure you click entire course to date now you also have a multimedia library and you can use the videos in this library as well these are videos from the textbook makers uh, so you can use these or you can use the videos uh, links from blackboard to access videos that I have created or that I would have directed you to uh, if you want to access your textbook if you didn't purchase a textbook you can access it here and you can just go we start on chapter 2 so you can go to chapter 2 you can click multimedia textbook or whatever information you would like to see about chapter 2 if you know it's a particular section that you want to look at you can click on that section and click find now and this will give you links to those sections in chapter 2 and you can access your textbook that way now if you're on a tablet you might have to use the HTML ebook to access your textbook which is okay it just opens a different version of your textbook it is not as interactive as the multimedia library but you do get the benefit of using um, your textbook from there accessing your textbook from there so that's basically the homework and test taking website so hopefully that uh, helped to get you started there again the first thing that you will need to complete after you put in your access code or temporary access code will be the syllabus quiz okay so back to blackboard let's take a look at how you will complete your test 
So here you will go to Tegrity classes if you're completing your test at home or on your own computer. If you click, if you are completing in the Learning Center, then you don't have to go through these steps here. But you will go to Tegrity classes. It will ask you to allow pop-ups, and it will probably ask you to download a file for Tegrity recording. So I'm going to click here to open the Tegrity sessions list. If it doesn't open automatically. And then quite simply, we click on start a test. Now, again, um, once you click on start a test, it may ask you to download a file. So just be prepared to uh, download that. And that's why I say go ahead and do this for the syllabus quiz. And that way you'll be prepared for the actual test time. So you will click on start a test. You will have the academic integrity statement here, our academic integrity, just saying that, you know, you are completing this test, you are following the rules, you're not using notes, not using graphing calculators, and so on. And then you click accept to accept it. And then it says integrity is preparing to start your recording. So here you would have to save the file and open it up. Now, once you get that open up, you'll see yourself on the webcam, and that's when you would want to hold up your photo ID and show it to me. And then you would just click Next. So you can take a photo of your photo ID right here. And now we're in proctoring mode. So now it says recording toolbar, press start to start the recording of your voice and desktop actions. So again, on this page where it says take photo, that's where you want to take a photo of your photo ID. Press start to restart the recording of your voice and desktop actions and then press start. Now. It's starting and you can't see it, but down in my toolbar, you will see a little integrity icon to show that it's actually recording. Um, so once you get to the recording, then you can just minimize that. You don't want to close it. Just minimize it and go back to your actual test taking site. And you can click on syllabus quiz. And again, make sure you're... Uh, Flash browser is installed. Okay, so once you click on Syllabus Quiz, your Syllabus Quiz will come up and uh, the integrity is still recording. Just click on I am ready to start. And then from there, you just will begin your Syllabus Quiz. Uh, the syllabus is located in Blackboard, so you can print that off or you can have a screen side to side and uh, look at that and use the syllabus to answer those 10 questions. Once you finish the syllabus quiz, you put in the answer and then you click next question or you can click the number up here. Now, once you have answered all of the questions in the syllabus quiz, then you will click submit quiz. Okay. And then once you have completed that, you will go down to the bottom of your screen and you will see a integrity little icon and you can just click stop recording. Do you want to end the recording? Yes. And that's it for your testing. So black in, back in Blackboard, uh, make sure that you read the entire syllabus which can be found on the start here page, the first page that you will pull up. Again, you can print that syllabus off or you can read it like it is. Have a print button or you can save however you want to do it, but make sure you go through and read the syllabus here, uh, your testing dates and whatnot. And these are tentative dates. They are subject to change if need be. Your testing instructions, uh, so all the information that you need for the course, and if you have any questions for me, then just make sure you contact me. All right, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you, and I look forward to working with you.